Hello beautiful souls, thank you so very much for stopping by and please consider subscribing if you have not already. So in today's video I'm gonna do this look which you see right here using only painting brushes. Like you when you buy paints and all for your kids and all or for yourself you get the painting brushes free. So with those brushes I'm gonna create this look. So yes, did my eyebrows and just, uh, you know, filled in uh, with your, my eyelid with some concealers and these are the brushes I'm going to use. Basically, I was, uh, you know, thinking of this using all the three brushes, but I ended up using only two brushes. <clears throat> yeah, so, you know, just to go over it. So firstly, I'm going to use that red color to like in the wing area, you can see a very beautiful transition going on. So firstly, I'm going to, uh, you know, just apply that red color right there blend it out with that orange which you see right there right and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up with this mustard yellow and then I'm gonna you know uh, slowly mix this all with the light yellow color if that makes sense like which you see what the way you see in your screen so yeah that light light yellow shade and if you see i've just been using only one brush this is like slightly like all the other i have total of four painting brushes i guess amongst which this is the only one which which was little stiff so uh, for me to pick up the pigment i needed something stiff so i used this one i used this brush to pick up and that uh, all the colors like uh, i was uh, you know picking the product packing it onto my eyelid and then you know dusting uh, dusting it off in the back of my hand and then the very same way i used uh, one brush for all the uh, i mean by far so far so yes i applied the neon pink color now i changed my brush to now it is slightly fluffy like ever so slightly fluffy than the previous one and uh, with that i'm gonna blend that neon pink color and the color the, uh, the you know what is this the eyeshadow palette i'm using right now is also a very inexpensive palette this is just a uh, rupee 60 palette this is like sfr color pro color palette you get it for 60 to 100 rupees in the market local market i got it for 60 rupees so once you're blending with that lighter uh, pink color if you tend to lose the previous color or the neon pink color you can definitely redo it the way i'm doing it right now now all of us has this sponge tip applicator which we get with normal eyeshadows i'm gonna pick up some concealer you can uh, use any sort of concealer to make the clouds i basically prefer like uh, cream concealer not the liquid ones or the stick ones like cream concealers are better so you just have to no no hassle like you just have to pick up the product and stamp it like you know then your clouds are done your your cut freeze is done so now the light went off so all the more you know like garibi me aata gila ho gaya so you know light is also not there so yeah you gotta I, I thought of not stopping because it is so freaking hot like i was sweating like a pig now again i'm applying a little bit of yellow color to that gradation which you see in the wing area and even if your line that wing line is not straight not a problem we're gonna you know grip that up with the help of a concealer when we do our lower lash line so voila you finish your look if you want what you can do is okay one more thing is if your concealer starts creak uh, you know um, piling up or creasing you can use something of this sort like white color if you, you have in the eyeshadow palette or if you do not have what you can do is you can definitely use your compact powders which are generally basically either cream light cream or a white in color so you can use those light is back so we are back now for my lower lash line i'm gonna use the same brush and i'm gonna pack it to a lower lash line because that's how you're gonna uh, pop those pigment in your lower lash line so applying it and focusing more and blending it and also one more thing i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna cut that wing a little sharp the way you see in the other one like so Dun, dun, dun. this will make your like probably you're not being able to see right here from mobile but then when you see it in real or when you do it in real it looks it, it gives a very good definition or a lift to your eye <laughs> if that makes sense right once that is done i'm gonna blend that concealer in my lower lash line a little more and then i'm gonna use the colors which i used in the wing area now to be very honest i was very 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 sad yesterday so because Mm, I don't know I'll tell you a little later so here once the uh, pigments are done I blended it with the help of a little fluffy brush, brush which we used to you know blend that neon pink color and voila our lashes are done and uh, the only thing which we used in this particular palette are two painting brushes which you saw right now I wanted to do it, do it live and you know uh, sh shoot so that you know you guys can understand you can do anything if you feel like it's not necessary that like yeah having a good brushes are definitely necessary but when we are starting when 
when we are like you know big you if you are a beginner like me uh, you know it's no point giving a try like but if you're very skeptical about ingredients and all it's absolutely your call so as of now or right at the moment ingredients ingredient of the eyeshadows like literally of course it does matter but right now like beggars cannot be choosers kind of a situation so yeah if you want you can definitely start creating you also get this sort of a flat brush in the market which will help you more precise to you know these are very inexpensive like 10 to 15 rupees this will help you to make those clouds very precise or even cut the crease so yes that's all for my video and i really really hope and uh, you know pray that you guys enjoyed this video also uh, the reason i was sad because is if you have realized all my videos i mostly edit in f uh, uh, you know this is the this is how the makeup look from the back of my camera okay now coming back to the sad part is because if you have realized i mostly edit all my videos in filmora go somehow that wanted that application wanted me to do a force update i did it and post that they are asking me 450 rupees per month for any kind of edit and all which is too very expensive for me right at the moment if it was for a year 450 a year i would have still thought about it but right now it's not my budget so i'm becoming accustomed with this this editing tool i'm using right now but it i'm not flexible right now like i have to really learn a lot so you guys have to bear with me with my editing all the more my editing skills were very poor but now it's gonna be worse i guess so i really I want you guys to support me in this thank you